was that, man? That was uh, pretty cool doing that in front of your home fans up there. Oh, that's amazing. Give some tickets away. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's amazing. I didn't know about the ticket thing, so I was happy. Did she give it to you just now to, to give out? Yeah, she was like, hey, you know, we'll give out. You, you guys want some tickets? And I was like, oh, I get tickets? Cool. And she's like, no, Jordan, just to give it out to me. <laughs> about this experience, man, of, you know, getting to make your official UFC debut and getting to do it here at home. And, you know, what's yeah. that been like? Uh, it's been amazing, and uh, you know, I, I, it. You know, people go out and they, they have these goals, or they, you know, they they have these goals, and I think it's very rare for, you know, I, I set large goals, and I and I hit all of them. So I, I think that's truly amazing, and uh, it's a it's a blessing, and I'm happy to be here. Does so. your home town in your debut add any sort of jitters, add more pressure to you, or is it more motivation? Uh, no, it's, dude. I, you know, it's really nice. It's really nice. Uh, I was fighting with with. Uh, I was fighting in territory where, where I was getting booed, you know, every single fight because I was the out of town guy, and uh, you know, I, I, right over my head, I was like, I don't really care. Um, so I got all this love here. Uh, nothing's changed. I got to keep the fight camps the same. I got to train the same. I got to train even harder now that I'm in the UFC, and uh, it's awesome. I, I get an opportunity that not a lot of people get, and I keep people keep telling me that. So I got to take advantage of it. <laughs> Yeah, I woke up this morning and uh, I woke up this morning and took my little brothers to school. <laughs> How old are your little brothers? Oh, uh, 17 or it's 20, 20 and 20 and 18, 20 and 18. So they're just finishing up some school stuff and then they'll be off to college. And uh, you know, super proud of them and happy. And uh, so I dropped them off, and then I was dropping them off. And I looked at my phone. And I looked at the, like the schedule for the UFC. I was, oh my god, I'm missing my photo shoot. So I call, I ran back to the hotel and got that done. And so I'm happy though. Absolutely. This opportunity because of the contender series. Can you yes. go back to that fight? And, you know, after that was over, you know, like sitting backstage there, and, and did you, were you pretty confident that you'd done enough? Uh, that you'd done enough to impress the boss there? I, I, I got to finish. Yeah, that's all that mattered to me. Like, I said it from the beginning when I was one in three. The only way people are going to notice me is if I'm extremely violent and I finish everybody. You know, and that's what people like. They like seeing me be very violent, and they like seeing me finish fights. And I went out there and I did it. Um, and uh, I, I saw him clapping his hands, and so I was like, oh, come on. And then when he had passed everybody, I think it hadn't really clicked that he had kind of passed me already. And then at the end, he was like, and Jordan Griffin. I was like, oh. <laughs> Without that, you were, you were probably, it seems like you were on your way to this level anyways fairly quickly. And you were doing good things at the LFA level. And, yeah, I mean, yeah. Did you feel like this was, uh, being here was just an eventuality even without the contender series? Uh, you, you know what? Yeah, I, I can honestly say that. I think... You know, I'm getting a little bit up in age, but but even then, 28's not really that old. Um, I feel like uh, I, I wouldn't say I, I've hit my prime. I, I'd say that's still coming, and um, it's going to be nice competing against the, the level of competition in the UFC. So um, from there, I can kind of gauge and grow. Your contender alum that have come off wins there have had tremendous success in their UFC debuts. What do you think sets you guys apart as opposed to like an, an ultimate fighter winner who comes in and might not have the success right away? Uh, well, the Ultimate Fighter, n never, n never bashing those guys. Like I love that show, and uh, you know, it's obviously it's a it's a gateway into the UFC. Um, I think it's it's just a little bit different, but it, it, it's altogether the same. But you get to know those fighters, and uh, you know, and I think with us, so it's like those guys get that time. You know, they know they're there. Me, I could have lost and went home, and it would have been the done, it would have been the end. You know what I mean? So I felt like it was just. Uh, it, it was now or never, you know what I mean? So, and what I feel you, like. What do you make of your opponent? He obviously has a big name because he works with Ali. A lot of us know him through that. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you make of his actual skill in the octagon? Uh, I, you know what? He's 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 in the same level I'm at. Um, I, again, I got to pay him some respect. He he's a black belt in judo, black belt in jujit, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I'm a purple belt, but I got eight eight submission finishes. They're all crazy submissions, so they're they're not like random. Like, oh yeah, he just rear naked choked him. Like. I got some pretty out there submissions, and uh, I know I do. And so um, I think you know he's talented, and uh, he likes to, to bang. And I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. You, you worked a lot of high kicks and clinch work in the workouts just now. Is yep. that something you see as succeeding in there? Or is that just um, like that's just me working out. Uh, my, 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 what I was told when I first started the game: don't show everybody everything you can do. You know, so they, they told me to come out here and have fun, and I definitely had a lot of fun. I got to meet Michael over there and give him some tickets, and he seemed like he his eyes, like, blew up this big when I said, hey, what you doing? So, uh, yeah, I'm just, just having fun. I was going to ask you, not often do you see a fighter make their game to the UFC after open workouts. Did you enjoy some fighters for them? Just something they have to do during the fight week? 
I had a lot of fun. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. It was 10 minutes, but I, I had a whole bunch of fun. And, and to be honest, I, I, I uh, how do you say, I'm very grateful for where I am um, at this. I'm 28. Uh, I'm grateful that I made it, you know, now and I didn't make it earlier. Maybe I wouldn't have been prepared. So, yeah, very grateful. I guess going back to, you mentioned how you dropped your, uh, your little brothers off to school. Is it tough to balance fighting and, and family stuff and everything else going on? If it if it means something to you, you'll make time. You know, I worked I, I worked uh I worked uh three or four jobs. Uh, I I barely ever slept. Slept about four hours a night for years. Um, I I you know I have a son. I see him every single weekend. I pick him up if he needs to be picked up. Me and his mom have a good relationship. Uh, if if it means something to you, you'll make time for it. So I really don't believe in uh, that excuse of I don't have time or I'm too tired. Oh man, any day now. They need to they need to hit him up. I, I need to give Dana his his number. I need to get Dana's number and then text Dana and be like, you need to, to help Rafian Stotts out. Get him in there because he, he's like the hardest worker at the gym. He's the go-to guy on all the wrestling techniques and all that stuff. And uh, I've been working with him the last like couple camps, man, and my wrestling has gotten so much better. So uh, yeah, he needs to be in there like now. <laughs>